So what am I going to report on today? We've got some construction updates officially from Flamingoland Media on the 10 looping roller coaster set to open for the 2020 season. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Charlie, YouTube channel, Doncaster born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news update from Flamingo Land in Malta, North Yorkshire. Now we have some construction updates through photos via the park on this 10 looping roller coaster from Intamin set to open in 2020. Now like I said in previous videos, if you want to shout out in our next, uh, on one of tomorrow's videos, then make sure you go and comment down below this video. Or if you want to check out uh, some more videos, make sure you go check out the channel. And if you want to share your thoughts below, comment down below and I'll shout you out as well uh, as replying to your thoughts in the comments below. So for those of you who are new to the channel and have no idea what I'm talking about, this is the story of the 10 looping inversion project at Flamingoland Resort. Back in February 2018, forums and other people reported a rumour of a 10 looping roller coaster being relocated to Flamingoland on the site, partly owned by Children's Rides, partly on a temporary car park that used to be home to an iconic coaster at Flamingoland. The corkscrew closed in 2011, with rumoured plans for a children's area reported back in 2012, but nothing ever came of it. Now back in February 2018 were reported on these plans, uh, first being announced. This is a project we've been following since the very beginning. Um, you know, and big shout out to the whole team at Flamingo Land. I'm sure, I'm sure they watch the videos. I'm sure they like the videos. Um, just doing a really good job keeping this project under wraps for as long as they could. Uh, and of course, it was then uh, sort of with these uh, layout plans and documents being brought out, which again we reported on. So make sure you go check out that video uh, on the playlist for the Tan Looping Garista. Uh, and basically. Uh, we reported on all those plans, we reported uh, on this coaster and the whole layout plans and the rumoured name of Inversion. Is that still going to be the name? People are saying it is going to be now. But I'm sure Flamingoland's marketing team are going to do a huge job with this, whatever the name chosen. Then Flamingoland officially starts to tease the ride themselves with 840 metres of pure adrenaline, 10 looping inversions, uh, and 10 inversions in general basically. Um, and for those of you who don't know a history of the whole coaster itself, this coaster is actually a relocated project like I mentioned. So this is originally supposed to open at Hopi Hari in Brazil, which of course is home to uh, the old Thunderlooper from the Alton Towers Resort. And if you remember that one, I can't remember, I, I, I didn't ride it unfortunately, it was before I was born when that was removed. Uh, so it was a shame that I never got the credit in, but you can still go to Brazil, try it out. Um, so this coaster wouldn't open due to financial restrictions at Hopi Hari, so it was relocated to MAPS, which is the Malaysia Animation Park Studios in Malaysia, and basically it sat on that site, not being used. However, Flamingoland rumoured to have bought the coaster, and then it was pretty much confirmed uh, by news articles that the coaster would in fact be coming to Flamingoland to operate for the 2020 season and beyond. So, construction has been well, on, well underway on the former corkscrew site and of course the children's rides have been relocated to other locations. So the teacups have been relocated, uh, the carousels have been relocated, the mini mine rush which is the old American Adventure Kids Coaster, that's been relocated. Uh, one attraction that hasn't been relocated and has in fact been demolished is the cycle monorail. Now, it was a good family attraction, however, I don't think it had much of a popularity in its latter years. So it was a good removal for the long term run. Um, and I'm sure that this new coaster will absolutely change the skyline of this park um, and really make it a very different park. Now, of course, there is still rumours of here, there's still rumours and whispers around that Hero is going to get removed over this close season and never to operate again at the park. Again, not sure how true that is, but we'll follow developments very closely on that. But during the Halloween season, it's not, it's no tricks, but it's definitely a treat. We're going to share with you some exclusive pictures on the construction of this new 10 looping roller coaster from Flamingoland. So full credit to the images goes to Flamingoland's uh, Facebook page and the whole media team at Facebook, for, uh, the whole media uh, sort of team at Flamingoland, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. 
Messenger, all that kind of thing. So big shout out to Flamingland and specifically to the media team. They've done a fantastic job keeping us updated on the construction progress. So here is the pictures from Flamingland's Facebook. Again, full credit to them. On your screen now, find Abby Dorsey. Look at that first picture. Now that first picture is track being installed. Now if you don't know where that track piece is going to be on the finished product, uh, you can see the steel structure above. You can see some men uh, putting the track on the supports. And you can see there the structure of the top. This is going to be the station building. And this track is in fact going inside uh, the station. So this is going to be like the straight track. is just sort of loading onto the coaster and being boarded onto the coaster. Construction picture number two on your screen now. Find out it That's a look before the track piece was installed. Uh, just from a vertical look from the station. You can see it's a pretty big station building. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully it's very well decored inside when the whole structure's been completed and all the walls have been completed for it and the roof is over the top. Uh, hopefully that's a good uh, station building for it. Construction picture number three on your screen now. Find out Dorsey, that's next to the station building. That's some uh, wooden stuff. So this could be, uh, I'm not too sure exactly what this could be, but if they put some stuff over the top of it, you never know. It could be raised path and just put some stuff over the top of it. Maybe like a queue line bridge or something. Or it could just be uh, tunnels for the uh, sort of airtime hills going into one of the inversions. It could be one of the, it could be something, it could be either. It could be either. Uh, construction picture number four on your screen now. That's a closer look uh, at one of the wooden planks, which looks pretty, pretty cool. You can see velocity in the distance, flip flop, uh, velocity station, of course, zoom. Uh, you can see Kamali uh, towards the edge of the picture. Uh, so you can see how close this is to velocity, you can see how close this is uh, to the rest of the park. Construction picture number five on your screen now. Find out what Now this one is a, again an interesting one. You can see this black uh, uh, sort of crate like building. Um, now that could be anything, it could be just a temporary building while they're building on site. But from, from the looks of it, it could be either a shop uh, a shop for the ride, or like a merch point or something, or like a photo collection point. Or it could be um, maybe a potential um, like storage unit, like if they like a like, like you see one of those buildings where they sort of store second piece track or trains or anything, so it can operate more than one or two trains. So maybe that could be a building to help support uh, transfer track and sort of track transferring onto the. Um, the actual coaster layout so if they need an extra train they can use that building to sort of load out uh, the train and the track and maybe it's got like a transfer switch track uh, to allow more trains on the circuit do we know for sure I mean we obviously we won't know for sure until we get uh, more finishings on the construction site but from all those pictures there again big shout out to Flamingoland's media team for those pictures uh, and a big shout out to Flamingoland overall you're doing a fantastic job with this coaster I'm really excited for this coaster, really, really excited, uh, and yeah, like I said, I, I can't wait for this project. Again, rumoured to open, rumoured in the Spring Bank holiday of 2020, so should be free at that point, uh, and I will be hopefully, fingers crossed, going off to ride this coaster on the opening day, or if there's a media day, if there's like a media launch or anything, I'll try my best to attend that. Uh, if, I, if I get invited, Flamingoland, if you're watching, please, please give me an invite. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what happens with that. So thank you very much for watching this construction update on Flamingoland's 10 Looping Coaster. I'll be back uh, with more updates in the future. If you can't wait till then on the 10 Looping Coaster, make sure you go and check out the playlist from all the 10 Looping Coaster updates back from the first video we did on the project back in February uh, 2019. I said 2018 before. Why did I say 2018? 2019. Uh, so thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, I'm Ghost Shell, killing the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.